Hello everyone and uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I want to talk about the fact that uh, for the last 20 years or so I've been averaging about five, somewhere between five to eight uh, weddings that I have to perform every year, but now I'm starting to do funerals and the funerals are tough. Um, sometimes I don't know how to act in front of people that are uh, mourn, that are mourning and it, it's tough for me, but as I was thinking about what to say at the funeral service or as a memorial service, you know, I came across an old saying. Right, that says something like this. I can't quote it, you know, word by word, but paraphrasing it, let's say. The old saying goes something like, unless we wake up from our dreams, we may never realize that what reality is. And unless we die, we will never be able to find out that death may be of greatest of all joy. I Meaning that, you know, as we live our lives, that we shouldn't live our lives built upon a dream because death is inevitable. And when I look at the world and all the stuff that's going on in the world today, that's what it kind of feels like to me where... You know, people are really trying their best, and people do try their best to pursue happiness in, this, in, in the world, to bring whatever is the best for the family. But a lot of times we get kind of confused on what is the best for a family, because a lot of times we emphasize on education and uh, finances. And when we are so focused on that, because that's our dream for our future, is that a lot of times we forget about the present. So I think I made a video about this a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, that says, you know, um, the past and the future are just illusions. Only, only reality is today. So we shouldn't be living the realities of the world, which is today, um, trying to fulfill our dream, because once we are trying to fulfill our dreams, we're living in a dream. And the, the society really wants us to live in a dream, though. They always talk about the future in the sense of how calamity is going to happen, because death is inevitable. All these bad things are going to happen. End of the world is coming. Uh, Trump is uh, a racist and misogynist and all that other kind of stuff. And, and you're, in a, you're way far um, worse off than we used to be. You know, they plant a picture in our, in our minds of things that are not real so that we could react to those thoughts, which are just thoughts, which are just dreams. So as the old saying goes, you got to wake, you got to, you know, get up from our slumber. You know, we got to wake up from that. We, we, don't, we need to wake up from our dreams so that we may realize what reality really is, which is right in front of us today. And that we shouldn't be afraid of death in a way because death may be, may be um, of greatest of all joy. And that old saying kind of goes with what scripture says as well. So as I was thinking about doing a message for the memorial service, I thought that maybe I could focus on what God would say to those who died as well as those of us who are still alive today. Because most of us are living in a dream world. Uh, I think that's why there's so much divisions and whatnot. Um, and the message would be very simple. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that Paul talks about it that says, you know, if we were to die from this earth, that we will be with the Lord, right, in paradise. And when we see God face to face, that God would tell us, to wake up, right? To wake up and be clothed in His glory, glory in paradise, where He will be, will be with the Lord forever and ever. Now, that's the whole thing. Meaning, the death is not the end. Maybe it's the be, it is the beginning. By, I mean, by faith we believe there is the beginning of greatest of all joy. Right? That's a great message of the scripture because then, the greatest of of all fear you know, as we are living is not just to enjoy life as we live, but to uh, understand that, that there's death, there's no sting, there's no power in death because there is the resurrection. As Paul said, without resurrection, Christianity is dead, is nothing. 
So we really firmly place our faith in the resurrection, not so much in that we could focus on the resurrection and how it's going to be in paradise, but to take that fear of death away from us so that we could focus on what is important today. So definitely the message to those we have lost in this earth is to say don't worry about it because when someone dies here, right, God will come to them and say wake up to a new life. And I think it's the same message that God would have for us who are living today. Because many of us are still living in a dream of a great future, living in a big house, you know, planning out our career so that we could make as much money as possible so we could enjoy later. Um, which is all good and whatnot, but if you really think about it, if we get so focused on those things, if we dream about the future, then we are stuck in that dream. So we can't really focus on the, the realities of the world today, that it's not just about financial success to, you know, being, everything being fair in our opinion. Um, you know, whether Republicans or the Democrats are gonna solve all the problems because there's no such thing, and we get all riled up about the future that we can't really enjoy today. There's a lot of bitterness and hatred. There's a lot of, a lot of guilt and shame that we carry on in our minds every single day because of it. What we have done wrong in the past and how it's going to be in the future. We're so stuck in those times, the past and the future, that we can't really enjoy the life today. So for us who are alive, who we, we are so investing in the worldly things, God says the same thing to us and say, wake up from your slumber. Wake up from your slumber and see that there is the glory of God that is available for us that we don't have to, as Jesus said, worry about tomorrow. Not to be guilt-ridden because we have made some mistakes in the past. Not to follow those who are the masters of this world, the one with positions and, and finances, that we don't become slaves to them, so we react not to the spirit that's in every one of us, but we react to the messages that we're getting from um, people uh, who are in charge, the masters of this world, who wants to take advantage of, of our ideas and our thoughts and our mind and our lives right, for their own benefit. So I would say the message for the living and the dead is the same today, for, for, you know, is the same. That God would say to those who die to wake up and be clothed with God's glory in paradise. And for those of us who are here on earth, alive on earth, he would say the same thing, to wake up from your slumber, your dreams, or living in a dream world, and face reality. I have given you the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead to help you and guide you through life. Trust in him. Take the step of faith every single day. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. We might not have much today, but Jesus said, blessed are the poor. Right? Blessed are those who are humble and meek. Blessed are those who you know, seek righteousness. You know, that's all today. Right? Um, to get rid of all the guilt and, and everything that the world tries to put into our brain and our minds to dictate how we should live, become free from that so we could enjoy today, regardless of what we may be going through. So if you were to look at it that way, then there is no fear. I mean, I think that would, that's, that's a wonderful way of living. No fear. In order for that to happen, we need to wake up from our slumber so that we could enjoy, or should I say, we could live in freedom on the earth and, with the uh, certainty of knowing that when we die, we will exp experience the greatest of all joy. Then we could have the confidence to be kind to one another, confidence to be good to our families. And, and we wouldn't judge those who 
um, may not have uh, as much money or people who have more money. We shouldn't judge who is Republican or Democrat or anything like that at all. If we could enjoy each other, uh, instead of fighting, we could get along. In order for that to happen, fear has to come out. We need to wake up from our slumber right, and not fear the future. I think that would be a good message from God. And uh, yeah, that's what I thought about when I thought about um, giving a sermon or a message during the memorial service. And I thought I'd share that with you. Ho hopefully it makes sense and that God will bless you and take away your fear that we will wake up from our slumber, take control of our mind, our own consciousness. Don't other, other conscious, consciousness affect us in a way that uh, it's not good for us. All right, God bless you. I hope that makes sense. All right, wake up. Uh, wait, how does that saying go again? Uh, something like, unless we, unless we wake up from our dream, we will never realize that our dream is not reality. And that unless we die, we will never find out that death may be of, of, of greatest of all joy. It's, it's a good quote. Anyway, God bless you. I'll see you next time.